I'm just going to take you through all the battery settings for the MG4 here. Uh, this is a trophy. I'm sure they're very similar on the, uh, the SEs. Uh, so you have charging and discharging options here in the shortcut. Um, start charging and lock the charge port. And you can pick the discharging tab there. It wants you to plug in a, a vehicle to load connector into the charge port. But we'll just tap the anywhere on that battery tab other than those top two tabs and you get all the options. We'll start on the top left there, charge settings. So you can limit the current the car charges at. AC current as it's set at the moment is the full um, power of anything you plug into and you can reduce it down to 16, 8 or 6 amps. Um, here we have uh, the settings for scheduled charging. So you can set up schedules for charging uh, to match your cheap rate if you don't have a smart vehicle charger. And you can adjust the power here that you want the car to charge up to. Well, there you go. Tap in the battery bar and slide. And up to 80% is regarded as health mode. Any more than that for a long journey. But we'll leave it in health mode because I'm not planning on doing any long journeys. Discharge settings here. So um, that just tells you, um, you can set start discharging now. It tells you how much range you've got left. If you use your battery to uh, power other devices, you obviously don't want to run it too low. And the third tab here, which is very useful, is energy consumption. Now this can show you um, power used since the start and power used since the last charge, and what percentage was used for driving the car or for air conditioning and lighting and what have you. Uh, this is an energy flow diagram, and this little graph here shows you your power consumption uh, over the last 50 miles. Theoretically, I don't know for sure whether it's been enabled or not. Some cars have slightly older software so, and also your regen benefits. Sorry, on the first graph there. So um, the other thing that's very useful is the intelligent battery heating switch, which uh, is only really useful for when you're plugged in and charging and you want the battery warmed up before you leave. Uh, when it's sub 10 degrees, that comes on the heating. Or if you're approaching a rapid charger and you want the battery warmed up to get the fastest possible charge. So you need to be aware of this if your car is giving you much less range than you expect, then have a check on here, energy consumption under the battery uh, controls, and make sure that your intelligent battery heating is switched off because it sucks up to seven kilowatts to heat the battery. And seven kilowatts is about 28 miles uh, range per hour that it will use to heat the battery. And you don't want to lose that power if you can help it.